So you have a lot of training in bone grafting. Correct. Uh, so what type of procedures do you even use a bone graft? Well, and why? Honestly, every single tooth that we take out, we must put bone in the socket. Why? Because the socket holds the tooth like this. And you take out the tooth, you got a big hole down there. The most common thing what happened, the socket shrinks. So by putting the bone there, and that will support the whole socket, and this allow it to depress, and the bone goes away. So every single tooth... Well, what tooth, happens if you don't? Well, exactly what happens is the bone shrinks and get less, and then when you come back to do the implant, there's not enough bone to place the implant. So what you do, you're going to go for the other procedure we call bone grafting. But sometimes, you know, Randy, it's much easier to handle the problem when it's small than waiting to become the problem big. The problem big means when you lose that bone, gaining that bone back is harder than putting the bone in the middle. So if you're looking so at every the time health, you do an extraction, every time you do you're an extraction, doing a little bit of a bone graft. You're putting bone graft. Are you just injecting you material in there? What are you well, doing? Well, there are certain preparation. There are certain things that needs to be done. Sometimes you might have to put tissues with it. Sometimes you have to create tissues by taking blood out of you and, and uh, you know, the centrifuge and putting stuff special material to help grow in that bone because okay. you want to it's like putting a tree on the ground you want it to grow you want those roots to go there and and become big and strong and solid so when your implant comes in to be in you got a strong bone you got plenty of bone okay 